Okay, so when you're working in ESOL, one of the things that you want to understand is that the center of ESOL is in the bottom left-hand corner. If you'll notice, you have zero and zero right in the bottom left corner. That is center. So if you're trying to work from center, you want to have your design centered in that area. So I have my work piece set. And what I like to do is I like to make an outline of my piece. So I'm going to make a square that's 12 by 12. And this will basically just be the outline of what I'm putting inside the project. And, and later I will delete this after I've centered everything right before I create my G-code. Okay, so since my piece is 12 by 12, I will go to the shape option. See on these dots, that will center in the artboard if you put it in the center of those five dots. So I put it in the center, and since my piece is 12 by 12, I know the center is 6. So I'll change my X to 6 and my Y to 6, and that will center the square in my artboard. So now any designs that I put in, I'll know will fit inside my work piece. So let's just put some random shapes. I'm going to put something in each corner. Then let's, um, we'll do a little bit of text and, uh, and we'll center that in the artboard and also it will be centered in our work piece after we finish this up okay, again to make sure that that's center I can go over here and put six on the X and six on the Y and that will make sure it's centered on those points in the artboard now what we need to do to make this centered as G code to send to our CNC is highlight everything that you've done so it's selected go back up to shape make sure your center dot is selected and now we're going to type in 0 and 0 on the X and Y and what you'll see that does is it moves it to the actual center of easel see how the word center is centered and now don't worry that your your work is off of the artboard it will still come out fine when you put it into your CNC system through your G-code. And what I'll do now is I, I delete my outline because I don't need that anymore. And now my G-code, as long as I have my cut settings and everything ready, I'm, I'm ready to create my G-code. Alright, once you get that done, your next step is you need to find the center of your workpiece. So what I like to do is, because I'm normally working with a lot of pieces that I'm not going to sand afterwards, I like to use some painter's tape and I'll kind of guess where the center is going to be and I'll put me a couple of pieces down and of course if you're trying to find a center on a square what you do is you measure from one diagonal to the other and then you do it from the opposite diagonals and where the lines intersect will be your center. Now one thing to keep in mind on your Bob's CNC machine is your if you're working from center and you're using a piece that needs to be specifically laid out in a certain direction, your bottom left should be towards where your home position is because that is left on the Bob's machine. So see here, I'm just going to make my cross sections. I'm only going to mark on my tape, so I'm not marking on my piece. And that diagonal cross section gives me the center of my workpiece. If it's not centered on your workpiece, it's not going to cut centered because your machine won't know where to go. I know you can't see it in this video, but where I'm circling is the center. So when it comes to placing your workpiece on the work board or your spool board or your waste board whatever you want to call it you can position it anywhere as long as you have the center marked I typically use one of these squares and I'll get centered and I like to work down towards the bottom if I'm using a small piece so 
So once you get it placed, and of course you would clamp it in place. I'm not doing that for this video, but you would use whatever clamping system you have, get it secured. And then your next step would be you need to jog your machine to where it is directly lined up with the center of your workpiece. You can see my bit is exactly centered on this workpiece. So once you do that, you need to get your bit lowered. I use the paper method. I'm not sure if that's the best, but it works for me. Once you have your bit lowered to where you're ready to start, open UGS, Universal G Cut Sender, and you need to zero out your positions, your X, Y, and Z. That sets your home work position, also known as your return to zero position. By doing this, you can run your file, and then you can also run additional files on the same piece as long as you do not move the work piece. So if you needed to add text in another position or make cuts on other positions on the board, you could do that starting from that same position.